Hey everyone, it's Amy and welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me for today's video. And today we're gonna to be doing a tag video and this is the $1,000 Sephora Fantasy Basket tag that was created by Emily Noel 83 here on YouTube. I love Emily, everybody loves Emily and she did this video and it's caught on like wildfire. Multiple people have done it and I wanted to do it too. Now ironically, Emily's was not the first video I saw for this tag, I actually saw Kara C do this video first, which is funny because I just did the beauty community, my beauty community tag created by Kara C. So I'm gonna link that video as well as Kara's video and my video, which I did on the my community, beauty community tag. But we're talking about Emily's tag here today, and this is fun. I've done videos similar to this on my channel in the past, but this is specifically Sephora related. This is if I had $1,000 and I could spend it at Sephora, what would I buy? And I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, I just kind of went through specific categories that I like and I just picked certain things from those specific categories. And um, it's all makeup related. I don't have any skincare in this video. If you want me to see or you want to see a skincare version, please let me know. I'll be happy to do that. I can do a version for the Ulta. I can do a version for e.l.f. I can do a version for ColourPop. If you want to see any of those, give me a price amount and I will max out that price amount for that particular store or website and I would be happy to do that. Let's make this a series. Okay, so we're going to talk about Sephora today. Now I'm breaking this down into categories because uh, I want to mention certain things together and that will just make it a lot easier for me to get through all of, all of the products in my cart. So the first thing we're going to talk about, and this is really an obvious one if you've been watching my channel for any length of time. Not that long ago I did an older eyeshadow palettes that I still want video where I talked about three palettes specifically and they're all palettes that are from the same brand and it is the Huda Beauty nude palettes. They're the mini nude palettes. She did them in a light, a medium, and a deep. I want all of them. These are all going in my Sephora cart and they're beautiful and I can't just pick one. I want them all. I said that I wanted them all prior to this particular tag, but yes, I want them all. So sticking with the Huda Beauty mini palettes, I also want the mini ruby palette and the mini topaz palette. You guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while that I love my mini mauve obsessions. That is no longer available but I love these little mini palettes. I heard mixed reviews on a couple of the gemstone palettes which are the ones that I'm talking about right now. Um, the emerald, the sapphire, the, the amethyst, ruby and topaz but the ruby and the topaz are the only ones that are still available. So I want to put those in my cart as well. So I want those five little Huda mini palettes for sure. So next we're gonna go on to um, highlighters. And I have two, and I might have to open my phone just to double check and make sure I get the names of these right. But the first one is a really obvious one. I also love the Becca highlights, um, the Shimmering Skin Perfectors. I have a lot of them, but there's one that I still have never got, and it is the Moonstone shade. And I've always wanted to get the Moonstone shade. Here it is right here, and I really always wanted that specific shade, and I've just never gotten it. It comes in a mini. I would get it in the mini size because I don't need a full-size highlighter. And so, obviously, I'm going to get it in a mini. But I also wanted to talk about this particular highlight, uh, and this is the Dior, um, Dior Nude Luminizer Shimmering Glow Powder Highlighter in Nude Glow. Sorry, I had to read that. It's a long name. This is the Dior Highlighter in Nude Glow. I don't need this. I don't need this. This is specifically because it is a fantasy basket, and I was looking through all the highlighters, and I thought, ooh, if I was going to get a luxury highlighter, which one would it be? And it was easy for me. It was this one. I knew. I knew, I knew, I knew. And so it was just a no-brainer for me. Think it's absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I don't need it, but this is my fantasy basket, so we're going with it. Next, we're gonna talk about bronzers, and I have two to mention here. And the first one is a mini, and it is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in Baked. 
This is their little cream bronzer. I don't use cream bronzers typically, but for some reason, everybody's talked this one up to death. And so if I can get it in a mini, it's worth trying. The mini is, is very small, but really I've heard that it takes forever to get through this actual product. So I wouldn't want to get a full size anyway because I'm not used to cream products, but I do want to try this. So it's definitely been on my little mini wish list for a long time. I have like a whole mini wish list. But yeah, so there's that one. And I really want that one. But the other one that I want is one that just came out. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Matte Bronzer. And the one I have is in the medium it's the medium golden bronze that's the one that I would want the light one looks too light so I would want to get the next one up and it's this one right here pricey I know but it is a fantasy makeup basket so that's the one I would pick and I've heard good things about the uh, airbrush 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 is it airbrush airbrush flawless finishing powder the the actual like um, setting powder I've heard good things about that, but I've also heard good things about the Flower Beauty one. So uh, that's supposed to be a dupe, or that a lot of people say is a dupe. So I didn't put that in this particular cart, but I did want to, to include the bronzer, and the bronzers are new. And I just really, really wanted to try the bronzer. The next product we're going to talk about is another mini, and this includes the only lip product I'm putting in my fantasy makeup basket. And it is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb Baby Set. It has Fussy, which is another mini gloss bomb, and it has the Diamond Bomb Highlight. I think it's called the Diamond Bomb Highlight. I could be wrong. But anyway, that's the little mini set that I want. Now, I have the first one that came out, which was the, the original Fenty Gloss Bomb with Hustle Baby as the highlight. I love the highlight, and I love the gloss bomb too. And so when I saw this little set, I'm like, I gotta put that little set in my cart. So that is going in there. So there you go. Okay, so the next item we're gonna be talking about in this video is blush. And I have five blushes in this video. Four of them are from the same brand because I've been wanting these blushes for as long as I can remember. And they are the Clinique Cheek Pop blushes. I've been wanting these darn little blushes for forever and so I just went through all the colors and I had to get selective because I had to keep my cart at $1,000 but it, it was these four colors that are the ones that I came uh, up with and these are Melon Pop, Rosy Pop, Fig Pop, and Nude Pop. So these are the four colors that I want. I could have picked all of them really to be honest with you but I knew that I wanted those and I love these little cheek pop blushes they are $25 each but they are small and I don't like the idea of having a super big blush anyway so even though these are smaller you would think they would cost less but um they're $25 and I would be willing to put those in my fantasy basket in a minute I've wanted these for a really really long time that was one thing that I knew I had to put in my fantasy basket was these specific items so those are the cheek pops so I have melon pop rosy pop fig pop and nude pop all on the screen right here for you guys and uh they're just so cute and I've heard good things about these little pop blushes and I've just wanted them for forever so there's that now there was a mini Tarte blush that was in the mini section and it's like they're one of their Amazonian clay 12 hour blushes and I have three of them already everybody knows about the shade party I have the shade feisty and then I have another one they are really really great blushes and it's a mini blush and I still haven't gone through any of the mini blushes that I have but this one is in the shade seduce it's available online only so you can only get it online you can't buy it in the store but it is so cute and I love these and I literally if I find mini tart blushes I will collect them those are one of those things that I collect don't ask me why I love the packaging of them that's probably what gets me the most it's the color of the blush so when you reach into your drawer, you can see exactly what you're getting when you open your drawer and get your blush out. And I pick Feisty all the time. It's one of my most most used blushes. And I think this Seduce shade is really beautiful as well. It's a little bit more rosy. And um, so I really don't need Rosy Pop and this, but 
this is my fantasy and that's what we're going with. So we're gonna go with seduce. Okay, so the last one things I'm gonna mention are eyeshadow palettes. I have quite a few eyeshadow palettes in this fantasy card because I have been wanting some of these for a really, really long time. So we're just going to start with the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. This is probably my most wanted of the Natasha Denona palettes. And I could have picked any of them or I could have made this whole cart Natasha Denona palettes, but I wanted other things. So, but this one's beautiful and I've wanted this one for quite some time. It's definitely, a, you know, high up in the ranking of the Natasha Denona palettes that I want. So I needed to put that in there. So yes, I had to have that one. Now we have another Natasha Denona palette in this cart, but I'm going to go with a Pat McGrath palette because when else am I ever going to buy a Pat McGrath palette? Probably never. Um, and I really have been enjoying all the videos I've been seeing about the newest one, which is the Divine Rose 2. This one here on the screen, uh, I have palettes that have a lot of the similar shades. I don't need this, but if I was ever gonna get a fantasy makeup palette, it would definitely have to be Pat McGrath, would have to be in this video at some point. Like, I love all the color schemes, um, and but I just, this one popped up first and I just said, no, that's the one I want. I like that shade down there that looks like a kind of a, it's one of those special shades that looks kind of like a greenish peach. Do you know which one I'm talking about? If you can see it on the screen, I think it's like a greenish peach. It looks like it's a very shifty shade. It's one of those special shades. Um, I just like the looks of this one and I love the packaging and uh, yeah, it's beautiful. So I had to put that one in my fantasy cart. So let's go to an ABH palette that you guys will probably know that I've wanted for a long time. And if you remember my ABH uh, palette collection, then you'll know that I bought another palette instead of this one. I bought the Norvina palette instead of the Soft Glam palette. The Soft Glam palette was one of the first things I put in this cart because I've been wanting that darn palette for forever, for forever. And so I had to go in here and definitely needed to get that one. So the next palette I want to put in here is another palette I've been wanting for a long time, and that's the Kristen Dominique Rustic Lamp Palette. I don't know what it is about this palette, but it has been calling to me ever since I saw it, and I should just bite the bullet and get it, but um, right now I'm just not in the space where I want to just be buying a bunch of new makeup. This whole corona thing has got us turned upside down, sideways, left and right, and it's just one of those uncertain things where we just don't want to be spending lots of extra money if we don't need to, just in case there's an emergency, just in case something bad happens. I don't want to get caught in that pickle of having to worry about finances. So this was definitely a, a palette that I put in this fantasy cart. I There's that one shade in there that just, it's that greenish kind of, um, kind of khaki green. I, I just really, really love that shade, and I could probably buy this palette for that alone. But I love the combination, the berries, the peaches, the blues, that green. Um, you got a couple of deeper shades that I don't know that I really am necessarily into, but I love the look of this palette. And I've heard good things about it. I've had friends that have bought it, and I just really, really want it. It's definitely on my list and in this fantasy basket. So the last thing in my fantasy basket is another Natasha Denona palette, and I had to put this one in here because it's definitely in my top of the top of the Natasha Denona palettes that I want, and this one probably has more hype than any of her palettes out there. It is the Natasha Denona Gold palette. I have been eyeing this one for a long time, and I've been hearing people put it in this favorites video and that favorites video, this palette video, that palette video, and I just... It's one of those things that I kept hearing in the palette tag, which I also did. If you didn't see the palette tag, I will link it. It was the Ally Glines and Samantha March collab that they did talking about palettes. And I heard more than any other palette that was worth the hype. On more videos than any other, this palette I heard about was the Natasha Nona Gold palette. Everybody talks about this palette. It's worth the hype and it's my fantasy, and I'm not gonna buy a Natasha Denona palette unless somebody just gives me the money for it, and this is the one. So that is it. So let me see what my total is. My total is $995.09. 9 
So I came in under $1,000 and so I, it took a little bit f of finagling and to figure out where I was going to put everything and how I was going to arrange it so I had less than $1,000 because I had a few things that were in this cart that I took out and a few things that I added just to kind of balance it out. But that is it, you guys. I had so much fun doing this tag. I would love to get a Sephora $1,000 gift card. That would be awesome. So uh, definitely. Um, I don't shop at Sephora very often, but if I did and if I got a gift card, these would be some of the things that I would want to buy. So if you liked my version of this tag, do please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you're seeing me for the first time, I hope you'll think about subscribing. Love to film videos. Love to have you guys uh, come by and say hi. So please do that. I would love that. And that concludes this video, you guys. So if you have a channel, please do this video. Please do this tag. I, I challenge all of you. And if you do not have a channel, let me know what your number one item would be if you had a Sephora fantasy basket. What is your number one item? What is that one item that you would, if no, money was no object, what is that one item that you would buy? Tell me down in the comments, okay? Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.